Yeah, what are the Evan Cobbs do other than have not being top ten in scoring? Wiggers. Uh, they play very hard. Good free throw shooters. Good three point shooters. Good field goal percentages. Um, as I said, proven winner. Dirk Nowitzki, a champion. Steve Nash, multiple time Western Conference. You know, again, people are going to diminish what he did. He played in the time where it was difficult to just make it to the second or third round of the Western Conference Finals. And his co-captain, his co, the best player on his team, went through multiple knee surgeries. Not fair. Jokic. Jokic has played with a gutted roster for many years, starting this year. All the pressure is on Jokic, and a lot of analysts are saying the same thing. So if Jokic doesn't win it this year with a healthy roster, all criticism should be put on his shoulders. We moved the goalposts so much, so don't come giving me, oh, they're the number one seed this year in the Western Conference, so he's averaging triple-double. That's why he should be the clear-cut favorite. They wasn't the number one seed last year. They was actually the number six seed, one, one seed from being in the play-in tournament. So that's my whole thing is like, why we move the goalposts for certain people and then for others, we don't. So when I was trying to make a case two years ago for Chris Paul, when I was saying, hey, you know what? The Phoenix Suns, Chris Paul. So he's absolutely right about this one point. Chris Paul should absolutely have been considered an MVP at his advanced age to do what he did with the Suns and to make them a championship contender and take them to the finals. He absolutely should have been considered uh, as a as a MVP of the season. That's in my estimation. But I don't believe there's any basis on race here. And I could be wrong. That's my opinion. Same organization, same position, same results. Why is he not getting I would though I would argue though, Ben, he didn't have the same talent. Uh because remember he Steve Nash had older players and role players that were playing to their pinnacle uh, other than Amari. Shaq when he joined them older. Grant Hill older. Boris Liao, not older, but overweight. Liadro Barbosa specialist is very fast. Your Chris Paul, look, you have Devin Booker, another MVP candidate. Leandro Aiden, who's supposed to be, again, lottery pick, I think a top three pick, supposed to be one of the best big men in the league, very athletic. You had uh, Cameron Payne, you had Mikhail Bridges, you had all these guys who were super talented, right? So I don't think it's an apples to apples comparison. Getting the love that Steve Nash was getting when he was in Phoenix for as the MVP candidate or winning the or being the MVP front runner. I'm just trying to say, Stephen, they well, am I missing something here? Am I missing something? Well, is it Uchiwali or is it one mic? And you know well, where that song comes from, I, right? I know, I know, That's I know you can, I, I, I know what you're talking about. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it there, guys. So they brought up a couple of players, right? They brought up. Why do Chris Paul and James Harden get the most criticism? Again, Chris Paul, 38 years old. He has always missed out on that on that championship window. He's you know, been into the finals once they lost. He's considered arguably the best point guard to ever play or top three all-time point guards. And he's had different teams where he's had a super talented team. Let's not forget about the Coopers. Duck City, Lob City, DeAndre Jordan, Griffin, J.J. Reddick. Uh, Hito Turkoglu, Matt Bard, Steven Jackson. I'm missing so many other guys that have played in and out of those teams. Uh, let's not forget about who we had in the Houston Rockets, his fellow MVP, and James Harden, and they couldn't get it done. Right? He had a hamstring issue, but that's also why he has a black on him. James Harden, MVP, scoring leader for multiple seasons, not been able to get it done. Well, he's played on multiple teams. He played on the OKC Thunder as a young man, made it to the finals, they lost. He played on the Rockets, they couldn't get the job done. He played on the Mets, they couldn't get the job done. And now he's in Philly. Absolutely, all the pressure is on him, as it should be. So I don't think that's a fair argument that Jokic should have more pressure than why He's ever been, he's only been on one team. He's never had a healthy team. So why should he have more pressure? And does our boy, Dave Harden, have the MVPs? Well, he has that, and he has one MVP. Jokic has two. So... One could even argue, is this not a discrimination against white MVPs? Right? So that's my that's my take, guys. I'm going to stop it here. Share what you think. This is what I wanted to finish it up. They brought up Joe Embiid, and they brought up the fact that Joe Embiid doesn't get the love that Jokic gets. Right? And that Embiid deserves the MVP. So let's take a look at some stats. Let's look at their first season. And Joel Embiid came in one year later. In his first season, Jokic plays in his any games. 
In his first season, Embiid plays 31 games. Let's take a look at this. What is the most amount of games that Joel Embiid has played? 68 games, which is his highest. Okay? He's, that means he missed about almost 20 games. What's the most amount of games that Joker has played? 80 games. He missed 6 games. Look, if we were to average his games, he's averaging about 75 games played a season. How about Embiid? How many games is he averaging a season? Somewhere in the low 60s, somewhere in the high 50s. He's missing a, a good portion of the NBA season. Let's look at their totals. Okay? Let's look at their totals. 